Hi. I haven't done anything since last Saturday morning. Uh, right, by way of an experiment, I, this is a box I bought years ago. It's a Dale Rowney four pan. And I've got all these colours in. They're, they're all uh, Cotman, I think. I've got, uh, well, got Cobalt, two Ultramarines. I think this is a Windsor Blue. Let's have a check. I, I haven't had a check on these. I've only really ever used this, uh, yeah, Windsor. Uh, out, out, outdoors is a sketching box, and, and then not very often. I like really to work in the comfort of my studio. So what we've got here, we've got cadmium yellow. I, that's a green, I'm, it's probably sap green, I'm not sure. Sap green, uh, raw sienna, burnt sienna, I don't know what that is, burnt umber probably. Light red, it's got a bit loose and needs uh, using a bit. Um, don't know what that is, that's sepia. Uh, alizarin crimson, don't know what that is. Let's have a look. Just see what it's all about. Oh, this paint's grey. What's the other one then? What's that one? That looks like, well, that looks like sepia. What's that one in it? Same colour, sepia. I used to do a lot of sepia paintings, so I'll, I'll keep those. But I won't use all of these colours even if I knew where they were. That's the lemon yellow. So that's basically the old Ron Manson palette with a couple of extra blues. Oh, and the green. But, uh, oh, what have I got to do? This is, uh, I think this is Buckingham paper. It's one that Dave Dickinson sent to me. Here we go. Let's just cut that off. Right, I'm, just, I'm going to do some sort of tree demonstration. Uh, but before we do, I'm going to just clean that off and mix up some some blue. Let's have a bit of, well, let's try cobalt. Let's just get that washed colour in. A bit of cobalt. And just... It's got a nice thumb hold underneath, so let's just want to try to get used to using these these blues and these brushes really. This is a number eight. It's a the French squirrel. It's absolutely top of the drawer. Lovely, lovely brush. I bought it some years ago in France for about twenty-five pounds, and that was oh, years ago. And I've never really used it. I've used it occasionally, but it probably it, it's just a, a bit. Uh, I don't know. It's just a bit too big. I think I, I've made a mistake there. A bit of light red. And it's just. Got a bucket with some water in here. So we'll just wet that all over. So that's a sort of sky. I'll clean the palette. I'll probably have to dry that off with a hairdryer. I've ordered a number six, but it's a, a I think it's a pro art. It had a, seemed to have while well, looking at the photograph from eBay. It looked to have a a longer point than the Windsor and Newton one, but they're half the price of the Isabi French ones. They're very expensive. And the, the one I bought, the smaller one than that, is £18, including post and package. So, uh, so I'll give that a bit of a, a bit of a try. Not going to do this outside, will we? But, but I want some practice for when I go away and. Uh, Oh, 
I'll do some sketching outside with the with the with some decent watercolour paper. Uh, right, okay, so I've got another two brushes here. I've got the rigger and uh, number eight uh, sable. It doesn't look like a number eight, does it? But that's what it's classed as. I bought two of those uh, because they were cheap, only four pounds each. Okay, so um, I'll, I'll use. I, I want to put in a, some some nice green. Just have a little tester here. I will swap this for um, some. Some hookers because I'm getting to used to it. Well, I just have a wash there. I want some distance, some distant trees. So this makes a bit of bit of art with that. Get a nice Paint over some of that. Not used to knocking up just bits of uh, colour. Okay, there we go. Let's just get some big ones in there. Oops, it's splashing. Okay, that'll do. We'll put a bit of, bit of neat blue in there just to add to the mix. Really is flicking up. Okay. All right. We'll put a put a nice raw seal in there. Wash under that. I won't touch it. The uh, background here. Just okay. That'll be right. Oh, I didn't change that. It's, I think it's a sap green, but uh, whatever green it is. Uh, right, let's just put in, well I'll dry that. Right, I sort of... Sort of summer, summery day. It's uh, what it's the 9th of May today. We've been out on a bike ride along the River Wandle with the old men, and we had gloves and woolly hats on. Or those that didn't have helmets had woolly hats on. Very so, still cold for this time of year. Had very little rain to speak of. All uh, right, okay. Let's just tilt that down a little bit. It's my little screen on the, on the camcorder. Right. Um, Want to add to to that? So I want to put in some green. Oh yeah, that, what's that? which colour is it? olive green? It's a bit. Hmm. Let's try a bit of persian over that. Nice bright number. See how long ago it was since I used this palette. That's that's but that's nice. A bit of, bit of dark in there, a bit of ultra. Try to leave some unpainted. Going from the the hake to to around is quite a challenge. Just to warm up the foreground, a bit of sienna and blue. Just 
just filling in just fall down a quick bit of cleaning in there I'm not sure I like this uh, olive green but then it's really a, like um, hookers it's a green for mixing right okay not bad right now I'm going to put in some some spring green so uh, cabin yellow actually yeah I suppose it is cabin yellow And a bit of uh, sienna, a bit of that green. Right. Do some sky holes for the birds. Put a bit of blue in there, shadow. I'm going to waste it on one side, I'm going to carry on over some of that there. Right, I want some nice uh, dark, so sienna and dark from me. Well, I'm not used to this kind of Right, now grey, blue, sienna. I'll let that dry for a little while, and then I'll do something else on, on here. And we'll get a bit of that. Dark on one side. All right, that's it. Yeah. Cloth. Get some cloth. Get some cloth. Have some bushy stuff here and there. Let's just get get another bit of spring green over here. Shadow side. That's blue, blue and sienna. You can use burnt umber. I suppose it always goes down well. Okay, uh, I reckon we can put in a bit of
Just an indication of something going on there. Bit of dark green. So the dark green, I'll, I'll, ultramarine and, uh, and that sap green. Hello. some bluey green here so just the uh, ultramarine I'm going to I'm going to chop this uh, green out not near as intense as or as um, effective as the uh, hookers so let's get a nice darkest bluey there No, oh, that's a bit better. Let's just put a little bit more character in on the shadow side of this tree here. Okay, that'll do. So, by way of an experiment, when I get my little uh, brush, it should come tomorrow, tomorrow Thursday. I'm going to use these three brushes. I'll probably do a bigger one, but I'll use I'll use the mops. Let's see if I can live without the hake. This is very very simple sketch, a very simple mm, Grand Tookie tree. There, I, I quite like it. It's a little bit barren over here. I put that there mainly to cover up the the runs. But anyway. Um, We'll take it out of the mount. I think I've got the mount, so I'll put it in just to, just to show, give an idea. I'm not taking any prizes for this one. Yeah. It's a lovely mount, it's a triple mount. Let's just put that up there a bit. This could be, could be tricky. No, I'll get another one. Sorry if I've disturbed the... Uh... Well, that's all right. That's not too bad. It's a, it, for, it, for a sketch, it's, uh, it's okay. It's the sort of thing I'd like to do in the, actually on, in situ. Let's just bring that around. 
So it's, it's just a memory, just just made up. But when you're out, if you've got a satchel or you know, a bag, you can stick a, a block. I've got a block ready to go, but this artist quality well, watercolour paper, Windsor & Newson, mould made acid free, 300 pounds. It's just quite a rough surface. So that's ready to go. Will I actually do? Even if I could just go down the wander and sketch trees. You can never do enough trees. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll sort out that green if I can get it out of the panel without, out of the pan without cutting my fingers off. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.